Nits and Cubes Part 2 How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Study Hat and in today's lesson we'll be carrying on from Nits and Cubes and taking a look at another question type that you may be asked during the exam. Previously we covered finding the correct cube from a net well now what we're going to take a look at is finding out the correct net from a cube. The first question says which net can be made exactly from the cube? What you have to imagine now is the cube being opened up into a net and figuring out where each face will be positioned. To help you with this, take a look at an example of another cube and how that can be folded out to make a net. The two side faces are opened up. They then get flapped up again and folded all the way down. Even the face with the raindrop on gets folded down at the same time and now it becomes flat. The final face then folds down and now we have a completed net from a cube. Another example is on the screen. Pay close attention to the fact that the same exact cube can open in different ways. You have to look at the question to figure out which way that is and then go about visualising the layout. Now that you've seen how a cube can form back into its net, let's go back to the question and see how to tackle it. First off, let's eliminate any answers which can't be correct. If you eliminate an option as soon as possible, it makes your job easier because you'll end up with a smaller list of possible answers. We're not going to cross off A because these two faces are next to each other, so it's not completely wrong. For B, if you look, these two faces are opposites, but the figure shows them together. And as we learnt in part one, opposite faces won't show on the same side of the cube, so B can be crossed off. C is similar to A in terms of both the circle and clear face are next to each other, so we'll come back to it. D once again has opposite faces. This grey face and this clear face are together in the figure, therefore the answer can't be D. E can also be eliminated by just noticing that the white and grey faces are opposite each other, but in the figure it shows both faces together. We're now only left with A and C. Just by simply looking at the opposite faces and eliminating any that didn't fit with the rule that we learnt previously. Looking at it, if we fold down the circle and rotate it, yes, both these bottom two faces will be aligned. However, A doesn't have a grey face on the net, therefore it can't be the right answer, leaving us with C. But let's double check. If we fold down from the bottom, the clear face ends up on the top, and this grey face does in fact go to the side, therefore C is the correct answer. The next question says, which net can be made exactly from the cube? Let's start off by eliminating any nets that don't match up or have opposite faces that we can see are next to each other on the cube. Figure A doesn't include this face on the left inside its net, therefore it can't be the right answer. If we move on to B, we can see it has both faces next to each other, which is actually what we are looking for in the answer and has all faces included. In fact, if we start visualising how it will be folded up, this grey circle face will be at the top, the heart face will move down to here and the face on the left always folds down to the side. Therefore B is the correct answer. Just a quick recap, we started off by initially trying to eliminate any obvious mistakes within the given nets, however B didn't seem to have any. Once we visualised folding the net up it matched with the cube itself and that is how we got the answer. That's it for today's lesson on nets and cubes. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this, which combines the two question types we've looked at in both parts of this topic. Good luck, and I'll talk to you in the next one.